so I've noticed that Overload works really well Enemy on the down. actual pyros. The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Uh, but Overload, I can't use on anybody usually unless they have a shield or like they're a geth or something. But it, it's allowing me to use it on the pyros specifically because I can activate their machinery and blow them up. Excellent. The cure is in place. Now we need to reactivate the fans. Theoretically, also, te or technically, rather, this will put them down. I should leave one of my companions here to guard this, because the Borcha are still coming. <laughs> I have located the fan controls. There are two, one on either side of the Oh room my right now. gosh. The way these they're flying back, it's amazing. Firing an impact shot. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. No, thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Well, he's not a soldier, but he'll make a good doctor. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic. Should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Beat you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I think we're good to go. We're heading out. See you in the Normandy. Uh, maybe I should have stayed. Then I could walk back to the, um... I guess then I don't have to necessarily go all the way back to the Normandy. Although, it's kind of a shortcut. Never mind. I'll just pop out of the Normandy if I want to go pick up Archangel. Oh, we leveled up. Mm-hmm. Can also use work on Omega as leverage against Arya if necessary. Inter interesting. That you would think anything we did would be leverage against Arya. She actually has a history with Cerberus herself. Pretty sure. Hey. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Mm -hmm. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes, but this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. 
There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Everybody feels Gas, the need to maybe. pace. No, spread's too slow. Airborne You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. We're going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? He's so intelligent! Oh! Well, and just the way he, like, tries to, like, break down the situation, like, out loud. Like, it's very... Like, you can track his logic. It's great. Oh, and you can't get anything past him. The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. <laughs> Jacob's like, hey, we, we good. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I do like that it helps you. <gasps> I got more armor? Inferno armor? I got the missile launcher? Oh, this is the research unlocking that. I was like, I don't understand, but I am. Um, okay. Let's chat first. Let's chat. Let's chat with my new friend. My new best friend. Shepard, how can I help? Hmm. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. <laughs> Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Uh, I love the little laugh he does. He's just like, oh, oh, found a few. <laughs> I knew that they would be there, but like, oh, you know, just how silly, <laughs> how trite. <laughs> Can't get anything past him. Uh... Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. That's right. Everybody get... Uh, no, this isn't the one. Shepard, how can I help? Uh, Any ideas? ideas on yes, way? expensive but possibly valuable. Can show you. That wasn't it. I think it's under the prototypes. Yes, more than Omni tool. Yes, have it. Have it, my dude. Each person has their own specific upgrade. You can get them, um, or get the ship. What's anything that they recommend for the ship, for themselves, or whatever. Uh, and it only helps increase your odds, like your chances of survival. Shepard, how can I help? Um... Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. <laughs> also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. <laughs> yes. When things get a little too complicated in STG, you don't really know at the end of the day if you're helping or hindering, maybe, you know, sometimes it's nice to, uh, to actually just help people. <laughs> Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks That's right, group. that's right. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. 
didn't have to buy our own weapons. <laughs> the council can't even afford to give us cool weapons. Um, but no, the whole thing with like limit, working in limited facilities, right? It's like um, constraints create creativity, right? Like uh, artists say it all the time, potentially. Like writers, you know, physical artists, like, you know, all those, like musicians, everybody. Like, it's nice to just have, like, you know, full reign and whatever you want, too. But, like, sometimes, like, when you're given, like, here's your parameters, you have to try to make the best. Even video game designers, right? I've heard several stories about that, where it's like you take the best of the situation and sometimes you get your best creative work with constraints, you know? So, it's interesting. Not always, but, like, a lot of times. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Confidential. Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Kirihi! Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca. Though. Bit of a clo Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. <laughs> Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. <laughs> Personally prefer to get the job done and go home. <laughs> Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Mm. Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, that, uh-huh. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. It, yeah, that's the problem. It would almost be a better mercy if it was a sterility plague. Um, because then you wouldn't have thousands of stillborns every year. But, you know. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here, if you need me. He's so happy, though. Oh, I haven't I haven't gone down to the basement yet. But here, which we can only see from the bottom level of the ship, is the heart of my baby. It's so beautiful. Like, I love, I love, sometimes even when I, when I play by myself, I would go down into the, like, engineering deck and just, like, sit there with the, like, the hum of the engine, like, right there and, like, the fluctuating lights right in front of me and everything. Commander, you've received a new message at your It's very terminal. soothing. <laughs> it's very soothing. And I imagine potentially as a captain, if, if you know, would it, like, in some far-flung fantasy of mine if I was the captain of my own spaceship I would find you know comfort in the engine room uh, we have modern upgrades uh, I need to do from Samesh Bhatia that's right Mr. Dino offered a pass on a message for me I wish again to express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body this was from Mass Effect 1 while nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Neuralia being able to see her body was treated properly helped me more than you can imagine I have opened the restaurant that my wife always wished to start back on earth Neuralia's picture hangs on the wall and Alliance soldiers eat for free it's the least I can do to honor the courage with which both you, both you and my wife have served humanity sincerely Samesh Bhatia from John Whitson. Hey, Arya gave you the, this address. Excuse me, if you want. I think I met you at Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me. Uh, man, I was so pissed at you. I got blind drunk that night. It was a few days later before I got to get in and check the news vids and saw that almost all those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are, if you're out there, out, if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how could I, how I could have been a part of it. I'll make the most of what you did for me. Which is kind of weird. We should be getting that after we get Archangel, but we need to go. I'm gonna go get Thane. <laughs> and then we'll come back. I feel weird. Usually I do get Morden and Archangel on the, at the same time because they're on the same place, but I need to, I need to go. 
It makes more sense. <sighs> no, I should just get Archangel. I should get him. Uh, old adage of mind over matter, negative attitudes and aggressive acts. This is from Chakwas. Uh, creates more adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants. Well, peaceful thoughts and a compassionate action promotes healing. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you can... Basically, if you're a dick, your cybernetic implants will glow red, which is legit. I have a character who's a renegade that I've played before, and uh, I, I gave her purple eyes and black hair and, like, tan... Like, pa palish tan skin. I don't know, but, like, her, um... Red... The red scars on her face as I did more renegade, like, were more and more prominent. And the red with the blue and the black... Or, sorry, the red with the purple and the black, like, hair, you know? Like, just looked really, really nice. It was very imposing. Uh, oh, real quick. Do we have time? We might have time. Let's go up to my bedroom and I'll show you guys. Oh, also, I need to go. <laughs> if I don't go up there regularly, my fish will die. Okay, good. They're alive. Here's my fish. They really sure, didn't do a very good job. What? I didn't, I didn't talk to you, Google. Shut up. Sometimes she just talks to me, and I don't know why. Um, anyway, they really didn't do a very good job animating the fish. <laughs> they're like 2D fish in there, almost. And they're not like, I don't know, their bodies aren't moving at all. <laughs> but it's the idea, right? It's, look at that, look at that turnaround. <laughs> I don't think it would be that hard to animate fish, but uh, <laughs> they're just fake fish that I have in here. They're robot, I'm, you know, I'm gonna assume they're robotic fish, actually. They're not actually real fish, that would be too expensive to have. These are robot fish, a, a simulation of a fish. And here, yes, is my figurine collection. This is the Ascension. That's the Normandy SR2, that's the SR1, and that's the Turian frigate. All of which, okay, except for the Ascension. I don't have the Ascension. I don't know if you can get the Ascension as a model, but I will we'll get, a, we'll get a Citadel model later, and I want it desperately. Oh, also, how could I forget Space Hamster? <laughs> Squeak! It's so funny. It shouldn't be that cute because it's obviously just a person saying squeak, but it's so cute. Squeak! squeak. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, like, who decided in the dev team that Shepard needed a space hamster? You know what I mean? Like, an aquarium I could see, but, like, who decided? <laughs> like, she's never gonna be here enough. <laughs> You would think, right? To take care of a hamster. Also, it's a very plain little hamster cage. I wish you could give more for your little hamster friend. But, I don't know. It's just funny. It just, it's sort of incongruous, right? To have a hamster when you're trying to, like, <laughs> take out the collectors. It's just funny. It's so, like, s like I like it. It's so suave in here. But, like, not really. It's, you know. But it's as suave as it can be. I like it a lot. It looks... I just like it. <laughs> Also, you can see the stars. This is also the, literally the le most unsafe place to be on the ship. <laughs> oh, I came. I was gonna do this. Armor. Yes! As much as I love the N7 armor, truly, I do. I may have to just let myself run around in this armor for a bit, because it looks really nice. Uh, I did get, so what does this do? Increase shield strength, increase speed, storm speed. I might have to get those. Also, can't I, I feel like I can, which it's really fun, because also, like, like you can have it, it's, what do you call, modular. It's essentially, like, your armor is modular, right? But they managed to design every single piece, at least of, like, this, like, base armor, and, like, and it's, and it's upgrades. Like, obviously, you can see this one, you can't put any upgrades on. It's just its own thing. But on this one, when you can buy, like, the modular pieces, they make it so every single piece fits well together. And, like, you can change it up without it being, like, weird looking. You know, it all fits together. You don't have to have, like, matching ones. You can have whatever you want. Because each one has its own specific, like, cool stuff that it could do. This one increases storm speed by 10%. This one increases shield strength. Uh, maybe I shouldn't get rid of the shield strength. Nah, I can run. I can run faster. I can run faster and I'll outrun any damage. <laughs> this one, <laughs> maybe I should wear my helmet. It takes your helmet off for, um... 
cutscene stuff. Ooh. Ooh, I might actually do that. Reduces the delay before shields start regenerating by 10%. This actually looks pretty cool. I like it. It looks kind of like an Andromeda's design, a little bit, which I like. I like the see-through plate, too. It's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here, because uh, I didn't realize until, like, 15 minutes ago that I had been streaming for, like, 45 minutes. Or not streaming, <laughs> recording for, like, 45 minutes. So, hopefully, this splits up into two relatively even-sized videos, but... Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to all my patrons, but especially to my sapling tier patrons, Scalabunker, thank you so much, and Reese Scalito, thank you so much. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my true tier patron and the super most bestest awesomest. So thank you again to all of you so much, and I hope to see you in the next one.